Hey guys, it's Sam with The Blind Life. So I actually had another video planned for today. One that I was actually supposed to make a couple weeks ago. Uh, so we're just gonna push that off for a couple more days. <laughs> but I, uh, I was inspired to make a video um, commenting on this bird box challenge. Now I've seen several other VIP YouTubers make videos about it. So first things first, full disclosure, I have not actually watched the movie yet. I think mainly because I've seen too many people say that it's just kind of meh. You know, it, it's, it's all right, but it's not the greatest thing in the world. And so it's not like I've been chomping at the bit to, to go watch it. But it has spawned this bird box challenge where people try to do various tasks blindfolded. And so people have asked, you know, what, what's your opinion on it? And uh, like I said, other YouTubers have, have given their opinions on it. And I don't have a really opinion about the challenge. I think it's a great idea. Uh, let, me, let me explain though. I think the challenge of blindfolding and trying to do things is a great idea. And in fact, it's one that I had, you know, a couple years ago and for some reason just never got around to do it. Uh, but what bugs me about it is that the challenge should be for people to see what it's like for blind people on a day-to-day -day basis. And so that they can appreciate how amazing blind people are, that they do these things all the time. And how adaptive we are, and how with you know the proper training and practice, you can do whatever you want to do. You can do these things just fine. So I would rather people do the challenge so that they can appreciate the visually impaired community, not because some, some movie uh, it gave them the idea to try it. I've met so many amazing blind people in my life, just truly amazing people that I'm like, you guys are superheroes doing this every day. And they don't think they are, of course, because it's, it's like I said, it's every day for them. It's just normal. It's their normal. But to the outside world, it's amazing. And so I wanted to highlight that by having people try it so that they could understand how amazing these people are. But like I said, I never got around to it. And I was actually going to have it part of the Blind Challenge series that I have on my channel. Uh, and I think some YouTubers touched on this. Kayla with a C, her video, she touched on it also. That this sh should be a challenge. It's a great challenge and it should be a challenge. But it should be called the Blind Challenge or the Blindfolded Challenge to bring awareness to the visually impaired community. That's the only, th the only problem I have with it. People can do whatever they want to do, you know, and as far as people doing dangerous things, I think uh, JC Productions even said, mentioned how this is YouTube, all right? People are going to try and one-up each other, and so it's going to escalate. There's nothing you can do about that. We just kind of shake our heads at these people and hope that they're not breeding and <laughs> passing on the stupidity to the next generation but people are gonna do it. Like I said, my only problem is that I wish it were, I wish this challenge was a thing to bring awareness to the visually impaired community, to bring appreciation to how amazing those people are. And it actually was, it, I don't know, it just never caught on. Um, Blind to Billionaire had a video where somebody did this, a very similar challenge. So, you know. That's my two cents on it. So if anybody's watching and they want to do the bird box challenge, I'm renaming the blind challenge. That's awesome. I recommend you do it, but do it with, under supervision. Go out, grab one of your blind friends. If you don't have a blind friend, what's wrong with you? You should really have a blind friend. We are the coolest group of people. And have them do it with you. You know, have them walk you through it. Do it supervised. Don't try to chop vegetables or, God forbid, don't try to drive a car. I mean, come on, baby steps, people. You got to start out slow. I mean, nobody after a couple days after losing their sight said, hey, I'm going to go cross this highway to the Walmart on the other side because, yeah, I know how to do that now. No, you had to learn. So take it slow. <laughs> but, yeah, give it a shot. Walk a couple steps in our shoes. I say go for it. Okay, guys, that is it. That's my two cents on the whole matter. If you would like to learn more about vision impairment, check out my channel, The Blind Life. Hit the subscribe button so you can stay up to date with all the videos I'm putting out. 
I would also recommend checking out other blind YouTubers. I'll have a couple links in the description box down below. Thanks again, Sam, Blind Life. We'll see you next time.